I got a neat little invention. Y'all watch. Hey everybody, Big Daddy Biggs here, West Louisiana Bee Farm, and um, I know the last video I did, I believe I was showing you how to do some conversions from regular uh, Langstroth hives over to a Comfort Hive. Well, one of the things that I've wanted to do this year is I wanted to collect a little bit of pollen, and if, you, if you're familiar with all the pollen traps that they sell for, uh, for Langstroth hives, they're, they're pretty pricey. <laughs> And it's, it's not really something that I wanted to do. And anybody that knows me knows that uh, if I can stay away from the bee catalogs and do uh, beekeeping on the cheap, I'm going to do it on the cheap. So that's why I wanted to make this video today. I think I might have come up with something. We're going to try it out, and I'll, I'll give you a follow-up video in the next week or so about this. But let me turn this around. So... Here it is, <laughs> and it's it's a prototype. This is not the finished or the uh, the actual long-term product. I don't know. It may be if this works. I mean, this is usable over and over again. There are some things that I would do differently. First of all, let me explain what it is. This is a an actual screen that you can buy. I bought this uh, online, and I'll I'll leave a link in the description about it. And this is actually for pollen collection. The bees go through them tiny, tiny holes, and I've watched them do it, and it's amazing that they can even get through there. But once they go through the holes, the pollen on their legs pulls off. Now, you don't want to leave this on one particular hive probably more than a day or two, and then you want to move it to another hive. But let me show you how this works real quick. I'm going to kind of give you the rundown on the whole thing. This is a comfort hive. It's just here in my shop. It's been outside, dirty, uh, never been used, but it's it looks like it's worn out. <laughs> anyway, you take this, and you see the screws that are in it, and you mount it over the hole, screw it down tight. Uh, I'll show you the attached product. So I got it put on there, and I've only used one screw, and it seems to be plenty tight for uh, for our purposes but uh, also I wanted to kind of be able to show you it's it's right there over the hole and should be tight enough if it's not when you put it on you know you can always put another screw in here and that's not going to be a big deal so here's what happens theoretically I'm going to grab a little bit of sawdust here the bee goes through the hole okay and when they go through the hole, the sawdust drags off of the back of their legs. And it flops down into the bag here. See that? So after a couple of days, you've got a little bit of pollen in here. And you take it off and you attach it to your next comfort hive. Let's see if I can get this off here with one hand. Alright, so now I'm going to go put it out on a hive, and uh, basically, let me let me just show you how I put it together. I mean, this, this thing is so, there's nothing to it. So all you, all you need is this little piece here, and they come in a bag of like, I don't know, 25 maybe 50 I'm not sure there's a bunch of them and this is only a piece of one I, you can see where I actually cut it to uh, make it fit on here you could probably if you just made these things the size of the hole maybe a little bit bigger than the hole this hole is what I'm talking about um, you could probably make five or six of these out of one of these pieces just cut them up it, they're made of plastic it's real easy and 
a small piece of wood. You can see that this piece of wood I cut out and I just kind of chopped it on the chop saw and, and hacked it out with a uh, coping saw and a, and a drill. And then I took a Ziploc. This is a one gallon freezer bag. And uh, I just I just stapled it on here, man. I mean, it's it's real simple. When the bag is full to the amount that I want, I can either dump it out this little hole here into a, uh, a tray where I can clean it up or into another bag or whatever. And then I can use this again. And I can use this numerous times uh, before I have to replace it. So, I don't know. I think this is a pretty simple solution to a pretty expensive piece of equipment that you can get in the uh, in the bee catalogs. Anyway, I'm going to go put it on a hive somewhere, and I'm not going to show you all that. This is going to be the end of the video. Look down in the description for the link for this, and I'm going to tell you something else. Um, if you go to my, my website, and I'll post the link for my website, my blog, down in the description, I'm going to give you an idea to do this a little bit better uh, I'm gonna share a link with you down there very inexpensive product that will take the uh, the idea of doing this out of it you don't have to use glue or anything we can make we can improve this again this is just a prototype so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you got some good information out of it this is for beekeepers this is not for anybody else I mean I don't know why you would have any kind of use for anything any of this information unless you were a comfort hive or a um, top bar hive long length straw hive beekeeper where you have entrances to your colonies similar to this one okay if you have any of those hives I've listed and you want to get some pollen this is a cheap cheap solution we're going to see if it works, and it'll be on the next video, so y'all just have to stay tuned. Hey guys, I really appreciate you watching. I really hope that you got some pertinent information through this. If you did, I'm going to ask you, just like everybody else is, give it a thumbs up. I don't make a whole lot of videos. When I do, I hope they're, I hope they're informative. I hope you... Uh, Hope you get a lot out of them. And also, one last thing. I look forward to seeing anything that anybody else can produce or improve this. I mean, this is very basic, very spur of the moment kind of invention, I guess. So if you can improve on this, and if somebody else has already done this online, uh, that's great. I just, something that came to mind today. Uh, but if you can come up with a better idea than this a quicker and easier and I don't know if you can come up with anything cheaper but I'd love to hear about it I'd love to see a video on it so y'all have a good day God bless you bye